Democratic lawmakers urging Americans to follow the science for over a year. So why are those same leaders slow to do it now? South Carolina Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace is calling on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to lift the mask mandate in the House of Representatives. She joins us now. And by the way, we did reach out to Speaker Pelosi. We have not yet heard back. Well, hello, Congresswoman. Good to have you here. So what is the rule right now? You have to wear the mask on the House floor unless you're not unless you're speaking, correct? Correct. We are required, even though 75% of Congress that we know about is already vaccinated, we're still required to wear the mask inside the chamber, except for when we're speaking. And everyone says follow the science, but the science obviously isn't following the politics of Nancy Pelosi. And she's just using us, I don't even know why anymore, but it's just, it's insanity. We have the, we're the one place in the country where if you're going to have herd immunity, we've got it. And we should be leading our country and showing people how to safely move forward with COVID-19 for those who are vaccinated. Have House members been given any sort of reason for this, considering the CDC's brand new guidance on masks that if you're vaccinated, you can drop the mask? None whatsoever. And in fact, we heard Dr. Fauci today say that the reason that they decided to tell people to wear masks inside, even though you were vaccinated, was more about optics than it was about science. And Nancy Pelosi is following that same rule of thumb. I think she's virtue signaling. I mean, look at the joint session that we had with President Biden and then you had a Nancy Pelosi standing behind him. Everybody's double vaxxed, double masked and six feet apart. And this is not this is not leadership right now during COVID-19. We need to show people not to be afraid that vaccinating is safe and that people should get it done so they can go back to work, go back to school and go back to being a free country again. Well, interestingly, Democratic leadership, uh, Congress woman is shifting blame to Republicans for the mask mandate that is still in place. Take a listen to the vice chair of the House Democratic Caucus today. Guidelines are also very clear that workplaces can decide their own unique characteristics based on their conditions. And I think we would agree that the House floor is unique condition, especially with Republicans admitting that only 75% of their members are vaccinated. Your reaction to that, Congresswoman? Well, quite frankly, we have a real opportunity to lead our country and show them how it's done. And the 75% figure doesn't even take into account the number of people who've already had COVID-19 and may have some level of immunity right now. You can take precautions. If you want to wear a mask, then so be it. Every Democrat that wants to wear a mask or Republican should be able to wear a mask. But for those who, like myself, I had a really severe case of COVID-19. I've been vaccinated. I had two vaccinations. Um, I should be able to have the choice on wearing that mask or not. That's mm. that's the choice that it should be. And it, it's just simply not right now. Yeah. Interestingly enough, we saw the president uh, touring that Ford facility today in Dearborn, Michigan, still wearing his mask and distancing, although that could have been a rule within that facility. We don't know. But in many cases, he's still wearing it. The vice president is still wearing it. As you just said, Nancy Pelosi is still wearing it. Meanwhile, we know lawmakers are huddling with the president trying to hash out some sort of deal. We obviously know your party uh, is criticizing this administration for for pushing these massive spending plans. And as I was speaking to Senator Braun top of the hour, uh, he was saying how in so many cases he doesn't see any Republican proposals uh, proposals in these spending plans. Congresswoman, you've always been good about finding common ground. So can your party come to some sort of bipartisan solution with President Biden? Well, it's not for lack of trying. I know that a number of Republicans have met with the Biden administration on multiple occasions now trying to find a way to make a deal on this infrastructure package. The problem is we're just so far apart. And this infrastructure proposal initially was so bad, the administration had to rename it to the American Jobs Plan. And so uh, right now the number is too big and only 6% of it that they're talking about, only 6% of that package would actually go to roads and bridges, 1% to airports, less than 1% to our waterways and ports. That's not infrastructure. When you're spending $100 billion on school lunches rather than traditional infrastructure, um, no one's going to be able to agree on that. It needs to be a much smaller package and it needs to be singularly focused on traditional infrastructure to find a bipartisan way forward, in my opinion. All right, Congresswoman Nancy Mace, thanks for joining us. And give us an update on what happens with the uh, House floor mask mandate. We'll see if anything changes. Thank you. Thank you.